Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're going to solve the problem of the Atwood machine, which is simply just a pulley with two masses hanging together on the same string, one mass on each side. And you can assume that the mass that's heavier, that has the greatest mass, in this case M2, will cause the whole system to accelerate like this. M2 will accelerate downward and one will accelerate upward. And so we indicate the direction of acceleration by the arrow like this. And typically you're asked to find the acceleration of the system. So here we only look for the forces that act on the system, external forces, and those are only two of them. M1G pulling down this way on M1 and M2G pulling down on this way on M2. And then to find the acceleration, we use Newton's second law, F net equals MA. And so the, the acceleration will be then the ratio of the net force divided by the total mass. And the net force is always all the forces aiding the acceleration, which in this case would be M2G, minus all the forces opposing the acceleration, which is M1G. If it's in the same direction of acceleration, it's aiding. In the opposite direction of acceleration, is opposing and then we divide that by the total mass the sum of the two masses and there we have the acceleration of the system but we can also solve that using free body diagrams so what we've done here is taken m1 and m2 separately and we looked at all the forces acting on m1 and all the forces acting on m2 and notice that there's also the internal force between m1 and m2 relative to m1 t the tension of the string pulls up on m1 and here, relative to M2, the, the tension of the string pulls up on M2. So T pulls this way on M2 and pulls this way on M1. Again, we're assuming the acceleration will be in this direction. And so we've indicated that using the arrows right here. Relative to M2, the acceleration is downward. Relative to M1, the acceleration is upward. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up equations of F equals MA for both the two free body diagrams. So we have F net equals the mass times acceleration and F net equals the mass times acceleration. Now the net force will be again all the forces aiding minus all the forces opposing the acceleration. The force aiding will be the force in the same direction as acceleration so that would be T minus the force in the opposite direction of the acceleration, which is m1g, and that equals m1 times a. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. The net force here is determined by finding all the forces aiding the acceleration, which in this case is m2g, minus all the forces opposing the acceleration, which would be the tension, which is in the opposite direction of the acceleration, and that equals m2a. We now have two equations and two unknowns. A and T are both unknown. Since we're looking for A, we're going to try and eliminate T by solving both of these equations for T and then setting them equal to each other. So on the first equation, we get T is equal to M1A plus M1G, because we move this to the other side, it becomes plus. And over here, we're going to move the T to the other side, the M2A to this side, flip the equation around, so we get T is equal to M2G minus M2A. And now we can set the two equations equal to each other and solve for the acceleration. So now we get M1A plus M1G equals M2G minus M2A. We're going to move all the terms with an A to the left side, everything else to the right side. So we get M1A plus M2A is equal to M2G minus M1G. We can factor out an A and factor out a G. So A times M1 plus M2 is equal to G times M2 minus M1. And finally, we can say that A is equal to G times the ratio of M2 minus M1 over M1 plus M2, like this. And we should get the exact same result as what we get over here. And sure enough, it's the exact same result. So you can see we can solve the same problem in two ways. We can use only the forces or only consider the forces acting on the whole system using F net equals MA. In this case, the total mass because there may be multiple masses. And here we can take a look at each object separately, each mass separately. 
draw a free body diagram for each, look at all the forces acting on each body, use F net equals MA. There, of course, will only be one mass in this case. And so the net force is always the forces aiding minus the forces opposing. The forces aiding minus the forces opposing. The way you determine which forces aid and oppose is to look at the arrow where the acceleration will go to. So in this case, the acceleration will be upward for M1 and downward for M2. And that's how you decide which forces are aiding and opposing. You then end up with two equations and two unknowns. And then you have to solve each equation for T set them equal to each other to eliminate T, and then you solve for the unknown acceleration. So there you go, both methods side by side, in case you have to use that method rather than this method, according to your professor. And that's how it's done.